In the previous video, we learned how to figure out the velocity of a point and angular velocity using relative motion. We used this equation to do that. But what if we can make VA zero? Or rather, what if we choose a base point where it makes VA zero? Then we only have to worry about this part of the equation and that would make it a lot simpler. In this video, we're going to figure out angular velocity and velocity at a point using something called the instantaneous center of zero velocity, denoted IC. When we find the IC point, we can write our equation like this and eliminate VA. To see how we can figure out a base point where VA would be zero, imagine a system like this. If we look at points B and C, we see that point B would have a velocity that is perpendicular to the link AB. That's because we see that point B travels in a circular motion. So velocity will be tangent to that path. For point C, we see that velocity must be along the x-axis since it's locked into a horizontal slot. To figure out the IC point, all we need to do is draw two lines that are perpendicular to each of the velocity vectors. Wherever they intersect is the IC point. This will make a lot more sense when we do examples. For this section, you should remember the law of sines and trigonometric functions. We're going to be using triangles to figure out a lot of the information. You should also remember that velocity at a point can be found using this equation when a body is rotating about a fixed axis. If you need a refresh or don't remember, please check the description. Now let's get started with some examples. In this example, we need to figure out the angular velocity of link BC and we're going to do it using the instantaneous center of zero velocity. Looking at the diagram, we see that as link AB rotates, slider C moves along the slot. Let's draw a free body diagram of link BC. What can we say about the velocity of point B? We see that velocity B must be perpendicular to link AB since link AB is rotating about a fixed axis. We can figure this velocity out by simply multiplying the angular velocity of link AB by the distance from points A to B. So we get 1.2 meters per second for the velocity of point B. For velocity at point C, we see that it must be straight along the x-axis. So to get the IC, we need to draw radial lines that are perpendicular to both of these velocity vectors. Now we need to figure out the angles inside the triangle. The very bottom angle is 30 degrees since that's 90 degrees minus 60 degrees. We also know that the top angle is 45 degrees since if we draw a separate triangle like this, we see that it's an isosceles triangle. So now we have one big triangle with two angles and one length which is 0.125 meters. We can figure out the side lengths using the law of sines. In fact, we only need the length of RB over IC since the question is only asking for the angular velocity. So let's write the law of sines. Solving gives us the length. Now we can figure out the angular velocity of link BC. So to do that, we just need to write an equation for the velocity of point B using IC. Let's plug in the values we know and isolate for the angular velocity. Solving gives us the angular velocity of link BC. Let's take a look at this example. We need to find the velocity of slider block C at the instant shown. Let's draw a free body diagram of bar BC. The first step is to draw the velocity vectors of points B and C. We see that bar AB rotates about a fixed point, which means velocity B will be perpendicular to the link. We can figure out that velocity by multiplying the angular velocity of bar AB by the distance from point A to B. Next we can look at the velocity of point C. We see that it can only have a velocity vector straight along the x-axis since the slider is locked into a slot. Now that we drew our velocity vectors, we can draw our perpendicular lines. Next step is to figure out the angles inside this triangle. The bottom angle has to be 60 degrees since that's 90 degrees minus 30 degrees. To figure out the angle on the left, we can draw two triangles like this. So that angle must be 180 degrees minus 45 degrees plus 60 degrees, giving us 75 degrees. Now that we have two angles and a side length, we can apply the law of sines. First RB, next RC. 
Now we need to find the angular velocity of bar BC. So we will use the same equation we used at the beginning of this question, but we will use the IC length. Don't forget to use the velocity of point B we found earlier. To figure out the velocity of block C, we can use the same equation, this time using the other IC length and the value we just found. Solving gives us the velocity of block C. Let's take a look at this problem where we have to consider wheels. So we see that cylinder A is fixed and only cylinder B spins along with bar CD. Let's draw the velocity at point D which is going to be perpendicular to the arm. Now we can draw a line perpendicular to the velocity vector. Next we need to figure out the velocity of point D which can be found by multiplying the angular velocity of bar CD by the distance from C to D. Note that the length of bar CD is 0.1 meters plus 0.3 meters. Now that we have the velocity at point D, we can write another equation to get the angular velocity with the IC value. Let's plug in the values we know and solve for the angular velocity. This tells us that cylinder B has an angular velocity of 6.67 rads per second. Let's take a look at one last example. In this problem, we need to figure out the angular velocity of cylinder A. First, let's draw the velocity vector at point C. That's going to be perpendicular to bar CD. We can figure out the value by multiplying the angular velocity of the bar by the distance from points D to C. Next, let's draw the radial line which is perpendicular to the velocity vector. It starts where the two cylinders contact each other. Now we can write another equation to figure out the angular velocity. Solving gives us our answer. That should cover the types of problems you will face in this chapter. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you. Best of luck with your studies.